Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I am the Old School Game Snob and in today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer a Daz animation over into Unreal Engine. This is an animation that you're looking at from Daz Studio, one of the Anium blocks or Annie blocks or whatever you call it. I think it came out pretty nice. Um, never mind my jiggly physics there, they're not quite uh, conforming, deforming, that's uh, a, a part of a different system, never mind about that, that's all fine. Let's take a look at how this is uh, done. Alright, because this took me, oh god, did this take me a long time to figure out. Easy to do when you know how, just like anything, takes forever when you don't. Let me just, uh, oops, let me, okay, so you're going to want to start by loading up your figure, of course, and uh, I'm just going to clear my timeline of animations. I'm going to find a new t a new uh, anim block here to to use. Uh, or let's see, what, what was I using? Let's see. Um, what would I want? Maybe, maybe a nice jogging animation here, that's what I... That's what I like. Let's grab a jog animation. There we go. That still looks like walking. You know why? Because I forgot to remove it from the timeline. How do you even do that? How do you clear your time time? I think you just go to file. Could this be it? Maybe figure clear animation. Let's see. Clear, clear, uh, clear figure. Ah, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. That did the trick. All right. So I'm just going to grab an animation here. Uh... Uh, forgive my lack of familiarity with with Daz. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? What am I doing? Pause. All right. So what do you do when you don't know what to do? You take it from the top. <laughs> and that's what I did. So I'm just going to grab a walk in place here. Uh, let's see. No bounce. That looks good. All right. So I'm going to load up that Anim block. And here's what you got to do, guys. Uh, you're going to want to right click somewhere down here and bake to studio keyframes. This is important. If you don't do this, your animation won't move so click yes and basically what that does i believe it transfers over to the timeline so that you can export it uh good uh now before you export head back into unreal engine open your project settings and you're going to need to set a couple of things in your daz plugin daz uh, to unreal settings under plugins you're just going to want the zero root rotation on import to be checked so that will uh that's an important thing it doesn't work quite right if you don't do that so that's actually, that's actually, I mean, it's simple when you know how, right? I probably exported 50 or 100 times before I finally got it working, trying every single damn thing. Uh, you're going to want to choose the animation type, and I'm going to call this one Feminine Jog. That's basically what it is. That's not how you spell feminine. That's, there you go. Feminine. That's close enough. All right. Hello kitty. Meow meow meow. Alright, so just all the default settings. Go ahead and click Exportez-vous. Oh, and by the way, sorry if I didn't mention it, make sure you have your Genesis 8 character selected. If you don't, if you have something else selected, it's no good. Make sure you have that selected. Alright, so we're just uh, loading in. There we go. Alright, so now I've got my feminine jog. When you open it up, it should actually work. You should see the animation. That's good. Now, why is it pausing like that? Oh, I know what I know what I did. You know what I did, guys? I know what I did. <laughs> All right, so that's okay. That's actually good to know, right? Uh, we've got some extra uh, uh, empty frames right here. All right, using the time ordered and true method of just loading it from the start. I've loaded it in again, and this time, what I'm going to be careful to do is set my uh, little end frame bit to the end of the animation. End of the animation, basically. So we get a nice loop. All right. So once again, gonna bake two studio keyframes. You guys probably already know what you're done. You're not even watching the tutorial anymore because we're basically done here. You know everything you need to know. Go off now and animate to your heart's content, and you know a little bit more even if you feel so inclined. Do whatever you want to do. It's your life. Be happy. Find uh, find whatever makes you happy. Uh, um, fem jog, fem jog. Shorten it down a bit to save time. All right, now we should be looking pretty good. I'll show you how this guy's looks if you're still watching the video by by uh, just uh, attaching this to my character's blueprint just to get a bit of a preview on how it's going to actually all look in case anybody wants to see. Basically, if you're sticking around, you're probably sticking around to see the boobies bounce. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. Here we go. So there's female jog. Looks like a nice steady loop now. Very good. Uh, and I'm just going to grab the fem jog. It's already selected. I'm just going to use that as my animation in my character blueprint, like so. 
and now we should we should be jogging. Oh, that's great. All right, let's go. Slow motion booby bounce, just like Baywatch, guys. All right. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have found this helpful. Man, oh man, oh man, did this take me a long time to figure out. Oh, but it was so easy, right? When you know how, isn't it just the way? Everything's so easy when you know how. Anyway, see you guys later.